Hey and welcome back to Zyka's Kitchen. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law have gone away for the weekend so I'm taking care of the boys. We asked what they wanted for dinner this morning and they said cheeseburgers. So, I'm gonna share with you guys a little uh, recipe on how I uh, make my beef patties. Yeah, let's get straight into it, hey? We'll start with an onion. And we're just going to dice that up. Okay, so basically we're just going to cook this out really quickly. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of garlic in there as well. Alright, so let's get these guys cooked up. A bit of oil. About one and a half teaspoons of garlic. The crushed garlic, otherwise use two cloves, two to three cloves. So we'll get all that in there. We'll get some salt in there. And some pepper. Okay, so while that's in there doing its thing, I'm gonna get my mince. I'm gonna crack my two eggs into there. Some salt. Then I've washed some parsley. And then make it all nice and fine. Uh, so, once our parsley is nice, nice and finely chopped up, we'll add that to our mince. Like that. We'll stir our onion. Basically what we're doing in there is just letting that heat activate the garlic. So once it becomes aromatic, then we should be able to just add that to our mince here. So we've got our eggs in there, we've got salt, we've done our parsley. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add, that's about one and a half teaspoons of seeded mustard. And then I'm gonna do a generous teaspoon of Dijon. Maybe even one and a half. Now that's all in there, some breadcrumbs. I made my own, just got some toast, put it into the whizzer. The thicker the crumb, the better. So more like your panko crumbs work really well with this recipe. So that's what we're looking at at the moment. I can smell that that onion and that garlic are really starting to activate. So if you see there, just before it starts turning clear, that's perfect. And we'll get that added into there. Okay, so because that onion is hot, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the onion into the cooler mix, which would be your eggs, your mince, and get that to kind of cool down that way. So just cut it in, press them down like that. Okay, so I've cut that through. Now 
what I should be able to do is get my hands in there and start mixing that up. Clean hands. So I'm just going to work this until I see that all the mustard has been incorporated into the mint. And you'll see what I mean if you're making this. You'll see that there's little patches of mustard. And what you do is you just keep working it and then that mint becomes a nice pale colour. And I'll show you in a second what I mean. You can see in there how nice and pale it's become. That's perfect. What we'll do is we'll roll our patties, we'll put them back in here, we'll cover them with cooking film, and we'll let them set in the fridge for a couple of hours. I'm still going to go out and light the fire and enjoy the beautiful day that's outside. Well, first of all, let's get these guys rolled up. Ready to go, gonna put a cover on them into the fridge. Now that they're in the fridge, we're gonna let them set for a couple of hours. I'm just gonna head outside and get this barbecue lit. Got a decent amount of smoke coming out of the smoker now. I'm gonna press the burger patties uh, in between some sheets of baking paper. What that'll do is, as they're sitting on there, that'll help them not stick to the grill, but it'll also help that fat to come out onto the paper and then spill down the sides and create a beautiful smoky environment in that smoker, and that'll just add to the flavor of cheeseburgers. So. Let's get pressing. So take a look at those patties. They're just full of goodness. Ah, uh, so the smoke will should go really well with these guys. So we'll sit them on these bits of paper. As I said, the fat will come out of those. It'll drop onto the coals and it'll create a really nice smoke. And we'll put that on now, just cause the kids eat early. So they're on, there's plenty of room for the, um, the smoke to still come up and around those patties. So I'm gonna come back to this in 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip them. guys have been on for about 10 minutes so now I'm just going to turn them over and then we'll leave them for another 10.
cheese time. Alright, we'll give them a couple more minutes and we'll get inside and get these boys dished up some dinner. I think they should be a little bit excited. Alright, so the cheese should be melted on these guys now. We're going to get them on the tray, get them inside, dish it up for the boys. So excited. I just want to show you what this looks like. And because I've kept them on the paper, Basically all you do is you just get them up. Like that. Flambeau. Get these guys into the kitchen. Hopefully the boys appreciate these. We are going to make our food. So we've got our cheeseburger. <laughs> Alright, so we'll open them up like that. Get a bit of extra cheese each. Or should we put it? What sauce do you want, boys? Mm, I don't like sauce. Tomato. Tomato. Harry's tomato. So Harry's tomato. Tomato. Yes. And what are you having? No sauce. No. And then. Is it alright? Tastes okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that cheeseburger. Cheeseburger for dinner. Well, if you enjoy what we're doing guys, please feel free to subscribe. In any case, I will catch you guys next time. It's like it's kitchen.